Even Western experts from many pro-Ukrainian think tanks admit that the conflict in Ukraine has dispelled the myth of the superiority of Western weapons. In two years of fighting in Ukraine, the Russian army has managed to destroy dozens of Western tanks and air defense systems, including the widely advertised Patriot systems. Numerous photos and videos of Burning Leopard, Challenger 2, and Abrams tanks have significantly sobered up Western leaders who, before the outbreak of hostilities in Ukraine, were confident that Western weapons were the best and the most superior in the world. However, as time has shown, Western weapons systems with their high-tech expensive samples burn very well after being struck by Russian loitering munitions, ballistic missiles, and FPV drones. And unfortunately for the West, against this background, new footage has appeared on the network of another destroyed American Abrams tank, in the Avdiivka direction of the front. The footage shows how a Russian reconnaissance drone discovered an American tank, hiding in a wooded area. Immediately after that, the reconnaissance drone transmitted the exact coordinates of the American Abrams tank to the Russian gunners. And a few minutes later, the tank and its combat crew were destroyed by an accurate hit by a Russian projectile. The footage shows a powerful explosion after a Russian projectile hit an Abrams tank. This indicates that there was a detonation of tank shells inside the combat vehicle. Later it turned out that this American tank was destroyed by modernized guided projectile Krasnopol, from a distance of 25 kilometers. Thus, this Abrams tank became the seventh in a row destroyed American tank in Ukraine, which was officially documented. Let me remind you that earlier, in February this year, the armed forces of Ukraine lost two more Abrams tanks as a result of hitting Russian mines. As of April 16, 2024, these American tanks are still under repair. Ukrainian engineers still cannot restore them. Thus, it can be stated that as of April 16, 2024, the armed forces of Ukraine lost nine units of American Abrams tanks. As for the British Challenger 2 tanks, they do not appear on the battlefield at all. According to Forbes, British tanks turned out to be completely unsuitable for combat operations in Ukraine. Even the tankers of the armed forces of Ukraine recognized this fact. Let me remind you that the British government handed over to Ukraine 14 units of Challenger 2 tanks, two of which were destroyed by the Russian army, while five tanks failed for technical reasons. Thus, at the disposal of the armed forces of Ukraine are only seven units of Challenger 2 tanks, which are still hiding behind the line of combat contact, and are not even trying to engage in battles against the Russian army. Meanwhile, the press secretary of the Border Guard Service of Ukraine, Andriy Demchenko, announced the activation of Russian Spetsnaz units in the territories controlled by the armed forces of Ukraine. According to him, the actions of Russian Spetsnaz units are already being recorded not only in the Sumy region in the north of the country, but also in the hottest points of the line of combat contact. In particular, it is reported that in the Seversk sector of the front, near the village of Belogorovka, two elite units of the Russian Spetsnaz under the designation Gorban Ayata destroyed three self-propelled American artillery installations, along with a combat crew of 20 Ukrainian artillerymen. 
In particular, we are talking about such artillery systems as the M777, M119, and M109 Paladin. At the same time, it is worth noting that Russian Spetsnaz units destroyed these American artillery systems in the enemy rear, 40 kilometers from the line of combat contact. How Russian Spetsnaz units managed to penetrate deep into enemy territory unnoticed and destroy valuable NATO military equipment along with combat crew remains a mystery. Insiders in Kyiv claim that the audacious actions of Russian Spetsnaz units in the territories controlled by the armed forces of Ukraine caused a real shock to the Ukrainian general staff and its NATO military advisors. It is reported that due to the actions of the Russian Spetsnaz units, the Ukrainian general staff is forced to disperse its forces even in territories controlled by the Ukrainian army, which negatively affects the combat capabilities of the armed forces of Ukraine located directly on the line of combat contact. Unfortunately, the data on the units of the Russian Spetsnaz under the designation Gorban Ayeta are strictly classified. There is still no accurate information about the number of fighters of these Spetsnaz units and what weapons they armed with. From open sources, one can only learn that the fighters of these elite Spetsnaz units are subordinate only to the main directorate of the general staff of the armed forces of the Russian Federation. Moreover, it is reliably known that the fighters of these elite Russian Spetsnaz units have eliminated dozens of high-ranking officers of the armed forces of Ukraine, including officers from the armies of NATO countries. At the same time, it is worth noting that all the liquidated Ukrainian and Western high-ranking officers were in the territories controlled by the Ukrainian army, 70 and even 100 kilometers from the line of combat contact.